you can more than double your year-end giving. Stay with me to the end when I reveal the true secret, the method that I only stumbled upon to maximum income. And we're starting now. For nearly 15 years, I've offered matching opportunities and it's safe to say it's been a game changer in my efforts to greatly increase income for events, for key mailings, and for year-end efforts. And that's been in normal times, but we are in anything but normal times. In this year of dramatic uncertainty where giving has been down for many organizations due to this pandemic, any little edge truly makes a difference. Last November, I needed to raise between 75 and 80,000 for our organization very quickly. I knew the only way to do so was with a matching gift campaign. My first step was to find two to three individuals willing to give the pace setting gifts needed to make this effort successful. I was led to talk with a longtime friend who had done very well in a private practice. It had been quite a while since he'd given, but we had a great relationship and he now had tremendous giving potential. I shared my 40,000 goal and he felt led to give a pay setting gift of 15,000. Next I reached out to a partner who had been giving faithfully five to 10,000 a year for decades. I asked him if he was in a position to give a face stretching pay setting gift of $25,000 at year end. He was very familiar with matching gift efforts and although he was a bit skeptical that his gift would motivate others to give, he graciously agreed. So armed with my $40,000 in matching money, I sought to find the second half to get me my $80,000 goal, targeting 125 qualified partners and using my personalized letters and emails, follow-up phone calls, and my matching gifts, I was able to raise another $38,000 by the first week in January. It was an exciting story story of faithfulness and blessings. Those key pace setting gifts made a huge difference in the willingness of those 125 individuals to make faith stretching gifts, knowing that their money would be doubled by the matching gifts of the two pace setters. Any successful matching gift campaign is dependent on one or a handful of partners, individuals, corporations, or even churches giving pace setting commitments. Those pace setting commitments are pooled together in a private and confidential manner and the amount is used publicly to go to the rest of the donors on your list with an opportunity to have their gift doubled. This pool of 10, 20, 30,000 or more is offered until the ceiling is reached. For years, I simply offered anyone giving any amount to participate in a matching opportunity. Then I stumbled on another game-changing lesson. I realized that offering the matching opportunity to everyone didn't realize any increased giving from anyone. It didn't call for them to take a step of faith, to give more than they could give, essentially giving a sacrificial gift. I needed to set the bar higher for them as a competitive society, often competing with others, and with other, when others aren't available, we compete with ourselves. I challenge people to reach for a giving level beyond what they initially were thinking. Offering a match alone can get you as much as 50% increase as opposed to no match at all. But offering to double their gifts starting at a minimum amount is the best kept secret out there. By offering to match every gift starting at a minimum level, your income could increase by 100% or more. A match without a minimum gives a partner that feel-good emotion, but that's about all. But the impact on your dollar goal is limited. The real impact is made when those giving the 20% to bring in 80% of your income gets their money matched or doubled. For example, if a minimum to qualify for the match is $600 when someone is used to giving $500, then the minimum qualifier pushes or stretches their faith to give more up to the minimum to qualify. The match opportunity increases their normal giving and many times that increase is significant. Some organizations have chosen to use a method referred to as a challenge opportunity in lieu of a matching opportunity because a match can sometimes be a bit confusing for some pace setters. A challenge opportunity 
is intended to use the gifts of pace setters to motivate others to equal what they have given. Unfortunately, that rarely works. It really gives people little reason to give. Just because others gave isn't enough reason for people to give. That strategy is admirable, but doesn't have nearly the same impact as a matching gift opportunity. Partners can be asked at any time to be part of the pace setting pool, but generally their commitment to match is confirmed by the time the year-end letter hits people's homes or email. Pace setting challenges go something like this. Mr. and Mrs. Jones, will you be, uh, we're going to be mailing a letter to all of our partners at year-end just before Thanksgiving, and we'd like to tell them that their gifts will be matched. We're putting together a matching gift pool of 30000 Will you be willing to give 10000 towards the pool? We'll offer to use the money to match any gift of $600 or more giving at year end. Can you help with this? To qualify as a legitimate match, those pace setting gifts should be given after you have a good reading of how much was used from the second half letter phone strategy, or at least wait until most of the money has been given, normally after December 31st. Another option available to, is segregate the pace setting gifts so that they aren't used for anything until the campaign is over. All this is done because oversight groups want us to be upfront and accurate as possible when offering a matching gift opportunity. It wouldn't be considered a true match if pace setting money was used for operating or project expenses prior to the end of the campaign. The best you could do is make a challenge gift campaign, and as I said before, that's not as effective. It's my strong desire that the matching gift using a minimum qualifying gift strategy is as much of a game changer for you as it, it has been for me. It's my desire that this be a companion video to the year-end appeal strategies video linked above. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, be sure to click the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified immediately when the next video is posted. Also, I'm interested in addressing topics of interest to you, so put those in the comments section. I wish you the best as you strive to increase your income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thank you.